Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook and today we're going to be making some Indian snacks. Um, so first two you've seen me make already so I'll put the cards up on here so you can make them yourself and that is the chickpeas and the red onions. Then we're going to make little naan breads and I'm going to show you how to make those um, as well. Um, we're going to make some flavoured sweet corn so it's all relatively healthy snacks um, and then it just beats the craving and we'll show you how to do them while I'm draining off that sweet corn I want to welcome you to the channel I uh, hope we find you well if it is the first time here can you please press the subscribe button because it does mean the world to me it also helps with the algorithm gods and if you can push the like and subscribe button as well that'd be great so really simple sweet corn's going to start um, with some lemon juice so try and not get any pips in it because they will sort of disappear and if you get one of them there's a trip to the dentist you can obviously get a better technique than mine use a spoon it's far far simpler um, but get the lemon juice in there. Um, I'm using half a lemon. You could, I suppose, add some cilantro in there as well. If you've got it, uh, some coriander. And there you go. See? Learned from my mistakes. Get that in there. Now, we're just going to spice this up a little bit. Nothing too heavy because you've already got the, the spiced uh, red onions and the... Uh, chickpeas are a bit spicy so you want something just to sort of cut through it so in there goes some black pepper some smoked paprika and a little bit of garam masala that's it really that's straightforward then we're going to give it a bit of a mix uh, so I'm adding a little bit of chilli flakes. So not too much. Like I said, you don't want it to overly spicy um, because of your other bits there, but you still want a, a little bit of a kick. So give that a mix. Put that in a bowl. Cover it in cellophane. Um, and then when it's ready to, to serve, you just pop it in the microwave one minute and then you can dish it up. Right, on to the naan breads. So some plain flour, some baking powder, so you, you can do two cups of plain flour, a, a tablespoon spoon of baking powder. It should be lukewarm water. This water was too hot, um, but still there. And a bit of virgin olive oil. Get that in. And you want to start combining it um, until it becomes a paste, really. And you just want to keep mixing it in. Then what we're going to do, you can see it was, it was too hot. Um, so it became sticky pretty much straight away. If, if you do do this, just keep adding flour. So what I did is I took it out, put it on the board, realised it was still too sticky and it was more of a paste. So just added more flour to it. Um, and into this, I'm going to add some garam masala, a bit of salt and some uh, chilli flakes. Again, just to make it a little bit different. You don't have to add them. You could do some parsley, some garlic, butter, whatever you want, okay? But again, just really simple, really straightforward. A little bit of plant, uh, preparation ahead of time, I'll get you. So there's in the salt. So give that a mix. And you can see it's still too sticky. So it is coming together, but it needs more flour. And this is my inexperience when it comes to making like breads, etc. Um, but you, you, you just got to keep going and keep learning um, to the point where it's off the screen and it's, it's a sh terrible shot that I'm actually showing you guys. Um, I was that fixated and trying to get this right. So in goes the garam masala, you can see there. And, then, and again, just a little bit of chilli flakes. Now these chilli flakes aren't mega spicy. So again, it's more like a, just a nice little background heat rather than a wow, blow your face off type of heat. 
So give that a mix. Then you want to get it on the on the board. And you can see there it's still too too wet, it's too sticky. But that's again learn every time you do something you learn so the next time you make it a bit better and then you just work it and you just work it until you're happy with it until um and there you go see a, a bit of flour over the top and just get it working and, and and sort of kneading it and that's where like it looks it looked all right kept just and then it started to stick and that's when i realized hang on a minute this is it's too sticky. And there you go. So I, I reworked it, put it back in the bowl, got more flour into it, reworked the whole thing and just got it going. And then popped it in a container ready for um, use. Now, when it is ready for use, I've just broken it into little balls uh, and I'm just going to flour them up. Roll and there you go, a little bit of flour just to make it easier to roll, flatten them out. And you want to make them nice and thin, nice and thin, so they only take minutes to cook. Um, in a pan, I've got some oil and a little bit of butter, just so it gives it that nice golden um, colour. And you can see there my, my rolling pin. <laughs> um, so, and you just want to get it and keep it, make it as flat as possible. Again, this was the first time I was making these, so it was just a case of trial and error, really. And I. And I just sort of flattened them out and and just, again, a little bit of flour, flattened them out. And what I realised is you sort of want to make them even flatter. Um, now, you can, if you go online, you can see other, other videos where instead of water and oil, they use yoghurt and, and all kinds of stuff. So just give it a go. It's, it's some flour, water, baking powder and a couple of spices. That's it. Pretty straightforward. So into the pan, the oil and the butter, and now we're just going to cook these off. So nice and thin, let that cook, and you want it just to, to cook through until it's golden brown on both sides. And then that's it, it's done. There you go, see, starting to colour. That's what you want. There you go, little, little bread patty. Don't know what you want to call it, but you want to get them going. Now... I'd realised I didn't have any sort of meat, so I had some chicken dippers, frozen chicken in the freezer. So what I thought I'd do is I'd spice them up, garam masala, onion salt, onion pepper, and um, onion pepper, garlic salt, onion salt, uh, pe black pepper, um, bit of turmeric, um, and a little bit of smoked paprika, and then. Just give that a toss uh, up, a bit of oil so that it sticks. And I'm not going to lie, these were the star of the show. They went in the, the, the air fryer for seven minutes, gave it a, a quick a toss up, went back in for another seven minutes and that's it done. And then there's your plate. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Great little takeaway bit there. From my family to yours, as always, thanks for watching.